Hello everyone, welcome to our Canada Travel and Immigration channel. We hope you all are doing great and staying safe. Today we will discuss Canada Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program permits employers to employ temporary foreign workers when locals such as Canadians and permanent residents are unavailable. To get all the information regarding Canada immigration, please watch this video. And note down the pointers that will help you to succeed in achieving your goal. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share with relevant people. So, many people who are searching for the right information can also be benefited. Let's get started. These employers may hire TFWs from participating countries between January 1st and December 15th for a maximum of 8 months, provided they can offer the workers 240 hours of work in 6 weeks or less. Learn more about the Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program, who can apply, the application process and more below. Who can apply for the Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program? To be eligible for this program, workers must be from participating countries. Furthermore, work activity must be on farm primary agriculture and production must be in specific commodity categories. Participating countries. You must be a national of the following countries to participate in this program. Mexico, Caribbean countries of Angola, Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Dominica, Grenada, Jamaica, Montserrat, Sint, Kitts Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Trinidad and Tobago. National Commodity List Apiary Products Fruits, Vegetables, Mushrooms, Flowers, Nursery-Grown Trees Including Christmas Trees, Greenhouses, Nurseries, Pedigreed Canola Seed, Seed Corn, Grains, Oil Seeds, Maple Syrup, Sod, Tobacco, Bovine, Dairy, Duck, Horse, Mink, Poultry, Sheep, Swine. How to Apply for the Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program Each foreign government has its method of recruiting and selecting employees. The governments of participating countries will recruit and choose the workers and ensure employees have the essential documentation, have to maintain a pool of qualified workers, and assign representatives to help the workers in Canada. The government of participating countries are also responsible to ensure that selected workers are experienced in farming, at least 18 years of age, able to satisfy the Canadian immigration laws and laws of the workers' home country. Pay your application fees. Your fee amount and payment options depend on the location you are applying from. In addition, you may also need to pay for biometrics. To learn more about the fee amount and how to pay, refer to this IRCC link. First, enter where you are applying from and the type of application you are submitting. Then, select the best fit options from the drop-down menu and hit Get Payment Instructions. Working with other employers While in Canada, it is possible that you may need to work on more than one farm and have different employers. However, you do not need a new work permit to work for different employers. Nevertheless, it is important to note that you will not be asked to work for a different employer on another farm without your consent. Remember that if you are on an employer-specific work permit, you can only work for the employer listed on your work permit. Moreover, before you apply for this program, your employer must have a positive labor market impact assessment. Use National Occupation Classification 2021. With the implementation of the new tier system, IRCC has updated to use the latest version of the National Occupation Classification, which is NOC 2021. As a result, if you have on or after November 16, 2022, ensure that you use the NOC 2021 codes. Nevertheless, if you submitted your application before November 16, you can continue using the NOC 2016 in your application. For more information on the Seasonal Agricultural Worker Program, check out IRCC's official page. That is all we have for today. We will keep you posted with the new updates. Keep following and growing. Thank you for watching.